It's the Full Force News Burst brought to you by General Joe's Reborn.com with me, Diagnostic 80. G.I. Joe Classified Series Cobra Commander officially revealed. Firstly, thank you for all the kind comments and well wishes after my rather random and painful emergency appendectomy. I'm feeling much better and very happy that this news waited for me to get back home. Yes, the G.I. Joe Classified Series Cobra Commander has been officially revealed and he looks awesome. IGN broke the news earlier today with some incredible pictures of Cobra's caped commander and revealed an interesting way of purchasing the figure ahead of his major retail release on September 15th. A special drop will take place on the 18th of June on the Network app at 8pm Eastern and 5pm Pacific time, so if you fancy getting involved in that, just follow the links to the IGN article in the descriptions below and download the app ready for that drop in a few days. It looks as though the figure being sold on the Network is slightly different to the other official images. The blue is a different shade and his accessories are different colours as well. We don't know the exact details yet, but we can assume that this app version will be slightly different to the retail release, so make sure you get involved on the 18th anyway. As for the design, Hasbro were quoted on IGN saying the following. Updated to bring the iconic Cobra leader into the modern era, it includes multiple points of articulation as well as his signature sword. Personally, I love the design and like the fact that he resembles his getup from the beginning of the original animated movie. A few people have noted that his body could also be used for a classified Crimson Guard, and there is already a Photoshop doing the rounds courtesy of Ian Lalonde of Just Ian Customs, of Cobra Commander in red and a possible Crimson Guard. God bless the internet. His accessories are super interesting as well. The snake-like pirate pistol, as I've seen it described, looks brilliant and really fits with this aesthetic, and the sword is very ornate and bang on trend. He also looks to be coming in with some spare hands and once again gets the specific art treatment on his packaging. As soon as we know more info we will keep you updated, but for now get ready for that drop on the 18th. I'm going back to bed now to heal up before the next piece of massive news drops. I'm like a news vampire. That's it for this instalment of the Full Force News Burst. Thank you to my awesome co-host, me. See you next time and as always, Full Force. Make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking, sharing and commenting on these videos and as always you can keep up with the show after listening by following on Twitter at The Full Force, liking the Facebook page facebook.com forward slash The Full Force and if you would like to contact the show you can message us on either of those platforms with feedback or questions. We have also started a Patreon page so if you want to see your name up in lights on these videos or enjoy exclusive bonus content then check out patreon.com forward slash the full force podcast or click the link on any of the posts this podcast appears in full force.